Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jim and my friend April here. We're here to show you a really nice um, prep before movement of opening up the whole dorsal backline tissue um, and using the heated smart spine. So these are warm and we're going to be doing some tractioning and some spiraling on the back of April's body so that she'll be better able to move, bigger movement or even just walking. So we have a bunch of different props to support the body. The first one is the blanket and I want her to get on her belly and the soft end of the blanket is going to be right where the crease of the hip is. And we've positioned it so her feet, her ankles kind of hang off the, the um, Cadillac a bit so that um, any tightness in her ankles won't um, keep us from really getting the right release in her back line and also through all the tissue of her respiratory system. Um, now she doesn't have this problem, but it, it never can hurt, but some people, so show um, shoulders up to your ears and shoulders kind of lifting away. So you may have some people coming onto the carriage and kind of looking like this. And how you can kind of remedy that is you get your spa towels and we're gonna put them under the armpit so she can release her armpit down on the towel. For some people, you may have to make the towel a little bit bigger. And then we have this one. Good, and she's gonna release it down. So this protocol that I'm showing you is from the Smart Spine System from Marie Jose Bloom. And um, there's many, many different products, but this one is called the Smart Globe. And again, it is heated, and that's kind of key to this protocol. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna set one globe down on her sacrum. Now, just for time's sake, we're only gonna do one side of the spine. Sorry, April. <laughs> so we're gonna start here um, in her upper back. Um, around her shoulder blade. And so what I'm wanting to do here is twist the tissue away from the spine. So that's very important as we go down through the spine. So I'm gonna press in, she feels the weight and the warmth. She's gonna take a deep inhale. And then on the exhale, I'm gonna spiral the tissue away from her spine. And then on the inhale, I'm just gonna let it unspiral or rebound. And then she does another exhale squeezing the air out and I'm putting a little bit of pressure downward. Again, inhale and then exhale. And then on her next inhale, I roll the globe. So I come to a spot below and we do the same thing. Inhale, exhale. So I'm really trying to keep, and you keep going April, I'm really trying to keep the smart spine in the skin connected. So I'm not just gliding this over the skin, but I'm actually moving the skin. I'm pressing down and twisting, rotating like a pinwheel. And then on her inhale, I'll move it down. And then when you're ready, exhale. Good and deep inhale. And sometimes I don't know my own strength, so I always ask the client um, to please tell me if I'm using too much or maybe if they need a little bit more. You okay, April? Feels good. Good. And then on the inhale, I'll roll it down. And this is the area of her spine where I'm seeing that there's a little bit of collapse. So the inhale, I really want her to fill up this kidney space. Good, and exhale. And I want you to feel like your ribs are falling to the carriage as I do this. Good. Inhale, breathe. And exhale, ribs fall. Great. And so when I'm down at this bottom portion, now the globes switch. And this is the last protocol, opening up her glute tissue. So I do this rotation um, in the opposite direction. So she takes a deep inhale. And then on the exhale, I rotate it away from her sacrum. So this is creating more space in the back of the pelvic floor. Inhale, breathe into the heat. Exhale, more space between the sacrum and the ilium, wide, wide sitting bone, and one more long, deep inhale, and long, deep exhale. So this is a wonderful prep 
It's client retention when you use these products, especially with the heat, but it's a wonderful prep before you start movement. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.